Henry, so we met a couple of years back, uh, let me think, 2019. I uh, give you a couple of books. I'm in London tomorrow to sit down with the filmmakers on um, a character that is very well known in boxing, probably more notorious, infamous than being a famous sports guy. Uh, Paul Sykes, you know, bad guy, villain, author, boxer, criminal, genius, whatever. There's so many different things. But he was around, you know, as I said earlier, you know, the Middlesbrough, the, the Newcastle, the Sunderland, Hartlepool, the boxing industry, everyone knows everyone. You're from York. You box out of Leeds. So that Yorkshire industry, whether it was pros, amateurs, everyone knows everyone. And Sykes, he was always around, wasn't he? Always. He used to come to the shows. That's mm. what he did. We used to box in Jewsbury, Wakefield, Huddersfield, Halifax, sorry, Halifax. Mm. Jewsbury, Halifax and Leeds. And he would always turn up. And we never used to see him outside of, of the shows. And he'd just turn up. And, yeah. Always drunk. A, always. He'd have, he'd have had a few pints, but he'd go away to drink. And he didn't do anything wrong. If, if yeah, he used to come in the change room. He just well wish it. I was all right for you. Oh, it was always all right. And uh, I understood he, the man had a few pints. So mm. what, like it was what it was. He never used to say anything wrong. He didn't cause any trouble. And he'd come in. He'd say his, his piece and good luck, Henry, and do this and do that. And off he'd go. Mm. So me and Paul, that's the only ever yeah. business we used to get from. So him, I interviewed um, a police officer years ago, and he was present when you boxed Fidel Castro, Slugger at 92. Are you aware Sykes actually got in the ring that night? No. And challenged hundreds to the crowd to fight. So that actually came from a police no. officer. Didn't know that. <laughs> when was that? Whereabouts in the... Well, obviously, Nick, right? Nick had yeah, that yeah, yeah, confrontation with him, yeah. which, you know, ended up knocking him out, dragging him in front of a shower. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know whether you read the books years ago or... No. No. Um, I mean, do you understand why the interest in a character like that is, you know, yes, he was not everyone's cup of tea, but there's going to be millions spent on a film that has took mm. a lot of years. He wasn't your average criminal, do you know what I mean? Because mm. he had a he had an education which school teachers couldn't hold the torch to, but he also had a passion for knocking people's lights out. You know, as much mm. as interesting as he was, he was a deeply disturbed individual. But yeah. I was all right with you when I was around the boxing Always. scene. Always, and it, that was it. We'd, we'd see him in the change room and off we'd go. He'd get, <laughs> he'd get ushered out, to be fair, and that was it. Off, off. Yeah. And that was the only ever doings we had with him, and that, that was it. That, yeah. And then obviously his story goes before him. I mean, and he, from a boxing point of view, he obviously fought for the British and the Commonwealth. Uh, I was just telling you there, mm. so from the age of nine, sorry, uh, let me think, so 17 to 30, he only had nine months out. Um, so for a diet of bread and water, and if he'd have beat Gardner, yeah, right. So I, obviously, I interviewed many, many people. John Spencer, God rest him. The Mickey Duff books just um, going to be dedicated to his memory. If he'd have beat Gardner, they were going to match him with Leon Spinks, who Paul went over to as a paid sparring partner over in America when he fought Ali. Because it wasn't back then, you know, six foot three but heavyweight was massive. Yeah. These days, they're all six foot nine exactly. and all that. The, the but if he'd have beat, if he'd have beat. Leon Spinks, he'd have been put on with Larry Holmes. That, that's gospel truth. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know yeah, it's, it's yeah. hypothetical. But, but you can fast. see that. That's just that's the road you can... You but, can you know, back then, he was classed as an old man, 32, 33. You know, 40 years on, that's not that old for the heavyweight as well. The heavyweight's not even born. Do you know what I mean? They're just coming around, aren't they? But, uh, yeah, he's certainly an interesting character, old Sykesy. 